that dude that um that dude that have you met George's trainer? Yeah, Spencer. That dude is intimidating as fuck. Yeah, he's he's a fucking monster. He's a beast. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Did you talk to him at all about? Oh yeah. Lifting? Yeah, you but did. I, like everything that he says about lifting is like the total opposite of what I've learned. Those would be really funny debates. It's like really? me, like the skinny fucking no name, like arguing with like this dude that's like a fucking monster. I wonder then if you and I have really different opinions because like everything that he said is so far like in my book been like completely correct. Oh. Like he hasn't oh. said a single thing that's wrong yet. Sure. As far as <laughs> oh, I completely disagree. Well, there, there are different. Fl- there are like different. Fl- I don't think it's like a huge deal. Are there though? Like yeah, it, there like oh yeah, there are. There are some people that would like fight him to the death on what he says. But then there are other people that would that would. But ultimately, him. like the use case is the example, right? He's like well, but, that, but he can always but, go back to appeal to authority. But that's why like, that's why bro science exists is because there's a use case for literally everything. There is a guy who goes to the gym who only fucking curls all day who can probably squat like a decent amount just because of the random fucking shit he does. But he not says like that curling. guy can. No, maybe not like That's that guy, thing. but like, but like, there's I'm like a million. That there's... guy can always use appeal to authority, right? Well, yeah, but because then you can find another guy who does something completely different and appeal to authority. You there. think so? Oh yeah, for sure. This is this is where bro science comes from. It's because you can. Get no, bro, so, bro science comes from people like you that are fucking can't lift and actually make stuff up. No, not not, right? no, that's Definitely. not where bro science. Yeah. Bro science comes. Okay. Bro science comes from the fact that if you go to the gym and do anything over consistent periods of time, you'll see progress. Period. Anything. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Anything. You can go and fucking do anything, right? But so, bro. Science... I I completely disagree. You're totally wrong, then. What? You're totally wrong. Okay. Go to. I completely disagree. Go to the. First of all, there's a lot of people that go to the gym and just don't do anything. Sure. They well, just, they I'm not, like, obviously, I'm not right. talking about that. And there's also a lot of people that go to the gym and they might do, uh, let's say, five pound isometric or isometrics or five pound. Okay, I'm not talking about cardio bunnies. Okay, well then there's a lot of people that go to the gym and they use like those uh, those pu- pushing machines and they do like 20 sure. pounds. So let's say that you've got a guy with like a hyper, on on, right? you can have a guy with like a hyper efficient program that's like been min max through all of his dieting, blah blah blah. But maybe he misses a lot of workouts here. So you kind of like, and then you've got like a dude. Maybe this dude is a total fucking bro and he does chest like three times a week or some like really retarded shit. Okay, okay. He, like <laughs> day one is like 52 inclines and then decline like every single time. Right? Is that if that guy hits the gym every fucking day or every other fucking day or whatever, like he's gonna see results after a few months after six months after a year he'll get a big chest he'll look okay nobody gives a fuck about your legs really and he'll look okay even though and then like the thing is he can come out of that and he'll be like oh well this is what you should do and that's where bro science comes from like anybody can go and as long as you go and you do stuff consistently you'll see some kind of results huh. and that's where like the bro memes come from and then on top of that like everybody has their own like autistic diet memes and shit where he'll say some shit like well i eat kelp before every workout and that makes <laughs> me like really big and because he has results he can do the appeal to authority and like oh like now you can see like i'm a huge fucking dude yeah, but if that guy if that guy goes one on one with Spencer, what's gonna happen? Like, is it still legitimate? Well, like I can find people that are Spencer's size that would disagree with him. There's a lot of different like mentalities on how you should do like weight training in, in the weight world or whatever. Huh. Like, there's a ton of different people with like a ton of different. I feel like the the dudes. like elite top has a pretty constant consensus. Well, I'm I'm like, talking specifically in I'm sorry I'm talking specifically in regards to training beginners. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe at the very, very top, like, because he's, like, in the elite lifting category, to, right? That there might yeah. be similar in terms to of, like... To get there, like, yeah. like, martial arts, right? I think, okay, that's, I think that's a, a corollary that I can understand. Where in martial arts, at the beginning, there are tons of philosophies about how to do martial arts, right? Like, mm-hmm. the jiu-jitsu guys will tell you, all you know is jiu-jitsu. And the Krav Maga guys will tell you, just learn street fighting, right? And, like, the Chinese, like, will do, like, Shaolin, you learn form for years, right? Mm-hmm. But at the top, like, there, it's pretty well established that, like, jiu-jitsu and MMA are the best fighting styles. Like, <laughs> Unless you right? talk to some of the retards in my chat, but yeah. Well, that's, yeah, there's probably a lot of armchair magicians that are, like, I beat up six guys in a bar simultaneously, mm-hmm. you know, bring four of your friends type of thing.